Uh, can we maybe get your first thoughts on the result tonight? Uh, I don't think the result reflects the performance. I think our performance is stronger. Uh, I think we create a lot of goal scoring opportunities. Uh, I have no idea why we, we don't get penalties. Uh, I think it's maybe VAR wasn't working tonight because nothing is reviewed. It's obvious penalties. So I think that's not good enough. We're happy with our performance, but that's not good enough. And was that what you told your team at halftime, that they needed to create more chances for themselves? No, we obviously speak on how we play in, in order to, how we play with angles in pressure, how we play out from their pressure, our decision making. That leads to us creating more chances. And in the second half, um, when Polova came on and McCabe switched over to the other side, um, was that a tactical change that you made with the intention of influencing the game? Yeah, of course. Okay. And uh, going into next week, um, what do you think your team, like, what will you need to show then in order to overturn tonight's result? I think for us, it's of course to always change details, but keep believing in the way that we play. We hope that VAR is working because maybe we need that detail as well. And uh, if that does, I have a big hope we can turn it around. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, first off, pretty much. Second off, not so much, to be honest. Um, it's not what we planned, but it's how we expected the game to be. Uh, even, two even teams. Very tight. I think we are a little bit better in the first half. We create good chances already. Uh, we could have had the same start that we had against Barcelona with two goals early. Uh, so I think we have control. In the first half, we create the most. And in the second half, Arsenal is a better team and they, we struggle and they... They create and, uh, more chances than we do, and we give away the ball a little bit too easy in the second half. But then again, we need to look behind. What's behind the, 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 the walls that, we, that people don't see is that since the national team break, these girls have played eight, nine, uh, eight games, I think. Uh, we have the injury situation that is difficult to rotate because we're also chasing a team in our own league, and we need to win every, every game, and we have and we have not been able to, to, to rotate as much as we like. Uh, so, I knew that the last second half here will be hard. It's going to be tough. And uh, we gave away the ball too, so we made it even a little bit harder for ourselves. But when you see the players saving on the line, throwing themselves in front of uh, finishers in, and to, to, to stop a goal against, that's the mentality that uh, we are about. This is me as a Mia for me, and it's what this club is about and it's beautiful to see. It's just as beautiful as a, as a great goal. So the girls work really hard, but if we were a little bit lucky in the second half, we can be, we can, we can be honest and say that. We're still plenty to draw confidence from heading into London next week. Yeah, we, of course it's going to be the same. Uh, we have, the, the, we have a, a little bit, uh, of course we, have, we are playing at home and we have the people here supporting us and uh, it's fantastic next week is going to be the opposite thing in London and I think the game is going to be pretty much similar it's going to be tight uh, we just need to recover and uh, go for the next game and uh, like I said to the girls after the game it's only half time but the attitude and the mentality they show today it's like I cannot ask for more to be honest in in that way thank you very much thank you um, Caitlin, obviously not the result that you were hoping for, but what can you tell us about the game from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, I think the first half we were a little bit scrappy, but the second half I think we really dominated and we created a lot of chances. And, yeah, just unfortunate not to put one away. I think, yeah, the result doesn't really reflect the game. So, yeah, a bit hard done by, but we'll go again next week. And going into next week, do you feel that all, all options are still available to you guys that you can manage to turn it around? Yeah, I think so. I, yeah, I think everyone will be available and I think it's just to start the game off how we finished it and yeah, I have no doubt that we can get the job, job done. And uh, you in the, sorry, at halftime, um, was there anything specific that you guys said that you wanted to really do in the second half? No, it was just for us to be better on the ball, um, be a bit more patient. Um, yeah, we're a bit frantic and we went forward a bit too much where we could have kept possession a little bit longer. and. That's what we came out and we did in the second half and yeah, definitely changed the game. So we have to just start the game off like that next week. Thank you very much. Cool, thanks. Yeah, gratulations to the Sieg, to the Tor and you're the player of the Spiels. 
Ähm, wie fühlt es sich an? Dankeschön. Äh, ja, also mein Fuß tut weh, aber ich freue mich wirklich sehr. Also mit einer 1-0-Führung dann ins nächste Spiel zu gehen, ist schon mal gut. Und ja, es ist immer schön, hier zu spielen vor so einer Kulisse. Deswegen bin ich äh, sehr zufrieden. Und jetzt nächste Woche in London, was ist dann wichtig für euch? Ähm, an der ersten Halbzeit anzuknüpfen und nicht so wie in der zweiten Halbzeit, um das Tor zu betteln. Äh, deswegen einfach so wie in der ersten Halbzeit zu spielen und äh, schnell die Tore zu machen, damit wir dann eben auch ein bisschen Luft hinten raus haben. Can you give us your first thoughts after the result tonight? Yeah, I think obviously initially um, it's disappointing to lose, but um, I think when we compare our first half to our second half, I think when we reflect, we can take a lot of positives and I think we probably deserved a goal in the end. I thought we, well, we almost had it over the line, I think, on a few occasions. So I think disappointed with our first half performance, but second half, I thought was we, we showed a lot of character to come out the way we did. Was that exactly what you guys said to each other at halftime, that you needed to go out there and um, press Bayern a lot harder? Yeah, we just had to adjust a few things with our press to make sure we were on them a bit more. Um, so we did that, um, and I think we made it hard for them to come out, um, and we kept them in their half of the pitch, which I think was a credit to our press. And yeah, just disappointing to not score in the end. And what you meet next week again in London, um, what will you need to, to overturn this defeat in the first leg? Yeah, obviously there's a the second leg, which is why this is so exciting. And, great to be a part of so yeah obviously we need to make sure that we take our chances at the Emirates next week and um, I'm, I'm sure we'll do that.